B7. All right, what's up guys? Um, today we have a Magic Force 108 um, size keyboard, has all 108 keys. And I have it with r red Gateron switches. I think that's how you say it, Gateron. I'm not entirely sure, but um, I have a, like the ones I currently use, the keyboard I currently use is a Corsair um, K70 RGB. Um, not the Strafe, I don't have. I, I got that one like a while back. Um, I was gonna try out blue getter on switches, but they just sounded really loud. I don't know why I put the knife away. I'm not done yet. I don't know. Um, I don't know. They sounded pretty loud. So I was like, mm, I'll try out red getter on switches. They're cheaper. And I heard they're more smoother. And that's what we're about to find out. I also just unboxed a Steel Series Rival 300 mouse. And I'm going to be testing it along with this keyboard um, at the same time because um, I'll save a lot of time editing all this. So, holy shit! Okay. This thing's heavy. Got a bunch of. Um, all that safety bubble, I mean air, airbags. So yeah, whoa, this thing is, um, this thing's pretty heavy. So yeah, oh, it actually tells you right here. Switch, Gateron, switch type red, color white, backlight white. Um, I know, I think the Magic Force keyboard also came with those blue LEDs with WASD and the arrow keys having gold or orange. Um, but I didn't see that one for the 108 key one. So I guess we'll just stick with the white. Um, I might miss my RGB from, uh, from Corsair, but I mean, I just wanted to try out these, see if they're any better. All right. Sleeves pretty hard to get off. All right, got the sleeve off. And here is just a cardboard box with the Magic Force in it. All right. Let's open this up and sweet. All right, so we got a couple of manuals. Oh, this one comes with that thing too. I didn't know that. It comes with... Um, a plug you connect this to your um, your phone or tablet or whatever can accept the um, micro USB so you can use this keyboard with that I guess uh, I won't be needing that this is a dear customer thank you for your order all right so it just wants me to give it five stars well, not yet because I haven't tested you out. Um, is this a manual? The quick start guide? Yep. Let me set those aside. Make room for the keyboard. Um, let's take this out. Wow, it looks... Why? You know, like when I see videos of like white... Like um, electronics, it looks cheaper. But when you get it up like... It, up close in person, this thing, like, white looks fucking awesome. Like, this looks legit. Like, I'll, sh I'll show you guys the Rival 300 right now. But yeah, look at that. Okay, so we got, it's USB powered. It has a nice USB gold plated um, cord here. It has this thing, so it won't get like signal jams oh okay we get a keycap remover and I heard these are like the better ones not like those cheap ones that like that those ring ones heard these are better so that's nice I mean 
I don't have any extra keycaps, so won't be needing that anytime soon. So let's take these things off. Little, these little ties. Slip this off. Yeah, this looks awesome already. I can't wait to try out the switches. Let me set that to the side. Oh, another cable tie. I'm gonna call it a zip tie. Those are way different. So yeah, the cord is well. It's not that long. I think my Corsair K70 has a longer USB cord, but I mean, I don't need a long, long one. That should be fine. All right, so this, um, oh, okay, so it opens from the bottom here. Thought it had tape, it just comes off. Ah, oh, this looks nice. This looks really freaking nice. So there it is. It's heavy too, like holy crap. I, I have no idea why it's heavier than the Corsair K70, but it is. I guess that shows the build quality. So here it is, the Magic Force 108 key keyboard. I'm gonna show it to you guys a little more up and close. So this is what you get. You get all the keys, the function key too. And I'm gonna try to show you guys the back. There's no um, riser, um, what do they call them? I don't know, those plastic riser things. Because this already is risen up. So that's nice. I'm gonna try to show you the guys the side, so you guys know what I'm talking about. See how it's risen up from here? It goes up there. So that's nice. But yeah, yeah. So far, this sounds. Oh yeah, this is, this is smooth. They feel, they feel kind of strange though than regular. They're like more quieter. That's weird. Yeah, that's, that's, they like, when you bottom them out, they like kind of, it pushes you back a little. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but you feel like kind of like a thump, like a, like a, like a thump in the end. And there's less travel to them. No, they might be the same travel, but I guess just the end kind of screws with me. Oh, but that feels, yeah, that feels good. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably getting a little bit carried away, but man, that's, that feels really good. So yeah, um, I'm going to test this out with the Rival 300. Um, I don't have my gaming setup, uh, my gaming PC set up right now, so I'll have to test it out with kind of like a older game, but I mean, I'll still test it out either way. But yeah, so stay tuned for that. It'll be coming right up, so don't go anywhere. What's up, guys? I'm back with the Magic Force keyboard. I've been messing around with it, and it feels really good. I've been typing with it and also just, just setting it up and looking at the different like types of things it could do. Um, I can't do much with lighting. Well, at least not for me. I don't really care for the lighting. There's like, there's like this breathing mode that you could do. It just lights up like that. <laughs> like it's breathing, I guess. And it's pretty freaking bright. This thing gets super bright. Um, my K70 probably lights up about this much and it goes twice as high. This magic force goes twice as high. So that's really good. Um, uh, but I'll probably leave it just at that. <laughs> I don't need it any brighter because it gets freaking really bright. Um, the keycaps are also like, um, how can I tell you guys? It's, they're like, they're like kind of like shiny. 
Let's see if I can show you guys. I don't know if you guys could see, but they're pretty they're pretty shiny. And just to show you guys that these are Gateron Reds. There they are. If the if the keyboard box didn't tell you, there it is. These are red Gateron switches. And they feel I, I think they feel a little bit better than the MX Cherry Reds. Just because they they don't feel like they're scratching inside. They're just they're smooth. They're like they're like they're really smooth. Like if, if those of you guys that use Cherry MX Reds, it it feels. I, I'm pretty sure you guys know the feel. Like when you press a key down, you kind of feel like or hear like it's scratching the the inside of the keycap. So. These Gateron Reds, um, nope, it's just smooth all the way down. Um, the only problem I had with this keyboard is probably the space bar. Uh, it works fine, but it sounds, it doesn't sound very good. It's like, kind of like, it, you can't really hear it through the mic, but while you're regularly typing, like every now and then it would sound like a spring. And it sounds pretty pretty nasty, but um, I'm pretty sure I'll get used to it. It's not that bad, but it just kind of sounds weird. Um, but yeah, I, I like it so far. It's pretty awesome. It has has it has all the features you need, like the Windows disable key there, and it, it's just it's fine. And it has like um, volume up and volume down, which work great. Like I'm just looking at it on my screen right now. Works fine. Has a mute button and has has all the good stuff. Scroll lock and everything. Um, it feels great and it's heavy like this thing's I don't know why it's so heavy but it is and so the build quality is good like when I saw it on videos or or on Amazon it looked pretty it looked really cheap honestly it looked like it was gonna be pretty crappy but now that I have it it it's it's like pristine like this thing is glossy this thing is the build quality is nice there's no flex to the keyboard obviously because this thing has like freaking two layers of protection over it but yeah it's i've been using it and i've had no problem typing like i type pretty like sloppy at times but um i i feel like i type better with this with this keyboard the i, I still like the cherry mx reds but they i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get I'm gonna like these more better. I'll just have to test them a little bit more, but so far they feel way smoother than Cherry MX Reds. Like they feel so smooth. Like there's no scratchy sound or anything. It's, it's just it's just smooth. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm gonna play some Halo with this Combat Evolved and maybe some Halo Custom Edition. Because the PC that I have with me right now can't handle recording um, anything else. Um, but yeah, so let me get that set up and I'll be right back. Alright, so this computer couldn't handle recording um, Halo Combat Evolve on, with OBS, so that sucks. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to put some footage in the back showing you how it recorded. It was pretty crap. But anyways, um, the mouse and keyboard are freaking awesome. The The keyboard I felt it like really smooth and the mouse was just like it's it's really good i think it's i think i aim with it about the same with my corsair in terms of like the sensor it's sort of the same though i think the corsair one is a bit better but they it feels good either way and um yeah they're both solid freaking setup it's a freaking sweet setup the keyboard is is I think a slight bit better than the K70 and the mouse is obviously way better because it just fits my hand really good and I don't know I really like it and I like the fact that it's RGB too so I could switch it um, switch the colors like um, like how I have my setup so yeah so that's about it I uh, can't think about anything else I would have gotten better footage, but I don't have my gaming PCs currently with me. So that's about it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.
Thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys want to see more, please check out my past videos that I've done. If you guys want to see me live playing some video games, I stream live on Twitch. Please follow me there. You'll get notified when I'm going live. And also follow me on Twitter. I post up when I'm going to upload a new video or when I'm going live. And I also post up a lot of other things. So thank you guys again for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.